Hi, welcome to our tiny house. My daughter and I built this about five years ago, and it's been in two different places. It's built so that you can um, take off the roof, take out the upper walls, put them aside, put down the roof, and travel on the road. By doing it that way, you can stand up in the lofts. So we will go and take a look at that. Come on in. The deck is removable as well. So when we move it, we would take off the deck, the awning. Welcome to our house. As you come in, you can see there's a step up into the kitchen, the living room to the left, um, nice and, and quaint and small. We have a built-in desk, and my daughter worked on this desk through COVID. And just open it up. And sits right there. Got a little desk chair, and this is her desk. Room for a pull-out couch, just enough room to have a, a bed for guests down here. This propane stove uh, heats the whole house. It's on a thermostat. It's very convenient heat. We raised this up so we could put storage underneath the floor and use that. And we had to raise it up because it's going over the wheel wells. So we put in this storage here under the floor. It's very handy for things you don't need to get to all the time. And there's some uh, one on this side as well. It's longer. We tried to make use of every little nook and cranny. So this was uh, the mud room right here. Um, and you've got storage here for mittens and things like that. And hats. And also here for boots. So it's a simple galley kitchen. It's got a small stove and oven, gas, propane gas. Shelving, hanging, a copper sink, big copper sink, small little dishwasher, and a full size apartment uh, refrigerator, and then a pantry to pull out. This also has a pocket door here, so you can close off the bathroom. Otherwise, we go on into the bathroom, composting toilet, um, there's storage, storage behind this stairs here and in the stairs there, full-size shower, a, a washer dryer, full-size washer dryer, a little broom closet if you want to call it that, I guess. And then a door, a back exit door to the outside with a small deck. And here we've got some more storage and also it's our utility closet with our, our um, electrical panel and a on-demand gas water heater and filter for the water because we have a lot of um, iron in the water here. And below here, which is easily accessed by taking out four screws. Behind here are two big water tanks in case you want to be off the grid. We haven't used the water tanks because we are hooked up to water, hooked up through a normal RV connection. Anyway, the, the little tiny <laughs> sink, which is very cute. A little, turn that on. There we go. A medicine chest. The stairs we needed to compress them as much as possible, so we decided to do um, left right type of stairs to decrease the run. And we put storage on every stair, so each one of these stairs has storage in the box. This one's a little bit tight to get under, but. When you stand up, I can barely reach the top. Big enough for a bed, 
lots of windows, skylight. Um, this is an egress window for safety and also for access to what we had planned to be a roof deck. Either that or we're gonna, we were going to make it into a cat walk or whatever for cats. Cat patio. Cat patio, there you go. Cat patio. So you have easy access to that bedroom and then the master bedroom is over on this side and you walk up a similar type of storage in the in each of these boxes. Another hidden feature of these stairs is a hidden cat box. My daughter wanted to a way to hide the cat box so we built it into the stairs with a little hole for them to get in. We made it kind of a maze so that they wipe off their feet before they got out. And you come to the back of the stairs and by the toilet, take off that storage and the cat box sits right here so it's easy to clean out. This one's easier to lock up. So welcome to the master bedroom. Up here. Again we have the egress to the um, the deck, the roof deck. I took the screen out so you could see better. There's shelving underneath this wall. The bed is made with shelving on the inside. There's boxes for clothes on both sides. And then the center comes out and there's long storage between the two. This is a modular bed with, this is one piece. This is another piece, the length of the bed. Then you can open that up and put storage underneath. There's two little side closets for hanging clothes. That, that side has more shelves, this side has more hanging. And we also use the hooks for hanging clothes as well. So to come down out of this, we decided a, a handle was very handy to hold on to instead of having railings, we just have a handle. 